Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Again, today I thought I would do a little come with me review as I am about to see the first Omen. I'm really, really excited to see this one. I've heard some really good things online. I've heard that it's really gory, that it's really brutal. So I'm excited to check it out myself and see what I think. Um, just some like backstory on me and the Omen. I've only ever seen the original one. I haven't seen any of the sequels or anything. Um, I'm glad I've got like the context going in, but I have heard that if you haven't seen any of the Omen movies, it's, it's fine to see this one because obviously it's a prequel. I'm excited to see um, what the lead actress is like as well. I've heard she's really good and really likeable. So yeah, I'll take you along for the ride. I'll film any bits in the cinema if anything is kind of worth it. And then I'll meet you back here either later or in the morning and we'll talk about the film. <laughs> I'm a couple of days late, admittedly, whoops, I had a super busy weekend, but I am here to review finally The First Omen. So what I can say is that if you haven't seen this already and you are a horror fan, you need to get down to your local cinema and come and see this immediately. What I loved so much about it is that it doesn't feel throwaway, it doesn't feel like they've just made an unnecessary prequel to make a quick buck. This thing has such a thorough story that is entirely its own that is both complementary to the original and matches the tone but also really does its own thing it's got such a meaty gritty in-depth story and i'm really surprised by that so i would 100 percent recommend this one my favorite thing about it um overall is its lead performance um she's a lady called nell tiger free and she is absolutely phenomenal and um, the script kind of demands more from her as it progresses and she just, oh, when she's in like full final girl possession mode, she is absolutely incredible. I can't wait to see her again in the genre. I also didn't recognise her from her turn in Game of Thrones as well, so I was super surprised to see that. She is fantastic. I believe the side performances are also good too. I was really looking forward to seeing Bill Nye here, but um, he doesn't really get much to do. Um, same with Ralph Innocent, really. I think both of them are really good when they are present in the movie, but they don't get quite as much screen time as I'd like them to. In terms of the horror, um, it's really strategically placed. So Immaculate, you kind of had a couple of acts and it was a little, all a little bit generic and then the final act like really kicked off. Whereas with the first Omen, um, it's kind of strategically placed all the way through. There is a lot more horror in like the back half, but there's the opening scene is like really, really spooky and really well done. And the horror that it does include, it does focus on body horror and it's really, really effective. It also has some graphic scenes in terms of like birth that um, don't hold back. You see pretty much everything and do you know what that's the first time i think i've seen that in a movie and i'm all for it like i don't mind my graphic scenes but you know it was really different it was really unique there are jump scares and i would say it occasionally falls into jump scare territory but what i liked about the jump scares here is that they are really well crafted you know they're happening but they play out for like such a long time like some of the jump scares take up one whole scene and you're waiting and waiting and waiting and I feel like that kind of makes it pay off more because when it finally comes you're at that point where you're like oh maybe maybe it won't be a jump scare but yeah it really really does utilize its jump scares well so I didn't mind having them in here because they were so good another thing that I loved about this movie was all like all of all of the technical aspects the costuming was absolutely gorgeous the set design is absolutely freaking stunning um the church itself lovely but it also takes the time to take you out into Rome and like you get a look at the city and stuff like that and it shows it in a really nice way so I was happy to see that the score is absolutely fantastic it's so loud and it's really there and it becomes such an important part of the story it matches the tone of what's going on pretty perfectly and it all just comes together really cohesively. What I will say, and I normally do positives and negatives, I wouldn't necessarily say I have any massive negatives, um, 
the my mixed thing is based on kind of your own personal what you prefer so i will say that the movie is on the slower side it's two hours long and it is there is a lot of scenes where it's um not much is going on but you might like that i personally didn't mind it i feel like sometimes i was really enjoying it because it really takes the time to develop its story its premise its location its characters everything in here is really well developed the main character especially uh, margaret we really get to know her and we spend so much time with her and i'm so grateful for that but there were some scenes that i thought okay i think we can like speed it up a little bit here so it's kind of, it depends um how you feel i watched um sledgehammer horrors review and um i think it was ken that was like he found it too slow whereas ashley absolutely loved it so it really does depend on your taste um i think i'm in the middle it was a little bit slow for me but other times i really enjoyed that because it made everything pay off so well so in terms of like its religious themes as well it's super bold with that the reason i compared it to immaculate earlier is because these plots are quite similar you know i don't want to spoil the first omen too much because it's not been out long but you can kind of guess where it's going because obviously it's about the birth of damien so yeah they're quite similar which is quite interesting because they come out within weeks of each other and it's great that they're both good i absolutely love that so to summarize the first omen exceeded all my expectations it has such a thorough deep and impactful story that it stands really well on its own but it also flows nicely into the omen by kind of taking a similar slow dramatic approach this often feels like a drama horror which the omen does too so i completely loved it for that respect the performances are amazing we have a new screen queen on our hands let's keep an eye on nail tiger free to see what she does next and all the horror is really well done the imagery is just gorgeous um it will depend on your taste whether you find this thing too slow or not it is a little bit slow in places you might not mind that or it might grate on you a little bit that is the end of my review um i also did a written review if you want to hear even more in-depth thoughts so all my links are always down below in the description do comment and let me know what you thought of the movie and i'll see you guys soon bye